Hello and welcome to today's recipe. Now, if you remember uh, last week, I was all on my own at home and I was getting a few things ready. And one of the things I prepped was a shoulder of wild boar that I had in the fridge. And uh, this is from a wild, wild boar from the Forest of Dean, which is a lovely forested area in the west of England and where the boar, just like in the States, are a real problem. So I put it in a backpack bag, some olive oil, some rosemary, and literally just simmered it in the sous vide overnight and literally cooked it for, I suppose, about 15 hours in all at about 70 degrees Celsius, 160, 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And now it's really tender, I can tell, and delicious. So but I'm going to make a ragu. Now, before I make the ragu, I've got to make the, the base sauce. So let's go and do that. Now here I've got an onion and like seven cloves of garlic. Gorgeous, amazing smell. Extra virgin olive oil, garlic and onions. It's just paradise. And you don't need a lot more than that to add to tomato to give you an amazing sauce base. Now I'm using this, my favorite sieved tomatoes. They're not chopped tomatoes, they're sieved. So they're like pulp, but they've got all the bits and it's beautiful stuff, this. And the great thing about proper Italian canned tomatoes is that they're, they're sun ripened tomatoes. They're the real deal. And they're canned when they're absolutely at their ripest. So I'm gonna add two cans of those to there for my ragu. I've got some Italian Rosso di Montalcino, very nice. And I'm gonna add two circles of the pan's worth of that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let that simmer and we're gonna let that simmer for 20 minutes or so. So while my tomato sauce cooks down, I'm gonna see how my ragu is. So I'm gonna slice open the bag. As I say, my favourite cut of meat, the shoulder. Oh, you beauty. There you go, look at that. There's the rosemary, I'll pick that out. And then this should look, oh, come on, look at that. That looks so tasty and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna pick it down, let it go into its own juice. I've just washed my hands really, really well, at least 20 or 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna rip this baby off the bone and start pulling it apart. Oh, look at this, it smells so good. And this is what I'm gonna make my ragu with. And I'm, you notice I'm keeping these juices because I'm just gonna add those straight into my sauce. So there we go, I'm just, any bits that feel sinewy I'm not putting in. I'm just breaking it down in my hands. And it's quite cold because it's been in the fridge, but it's super, super tender. Such a simple thing to do. And why one of those little Anova sous vide machines is magical. And it's just, you can only really cook like this. If you've got, and it, it keeps in the fridge as a result for ages and ages. So breaking it down, breaking it down. So much meat on one shoulder. Now, now you can do this with a deer shoulder. Um, it's a really good thing to do with a deer shoulder, exactly the same way. Um, do your shoulders of fallow deer, braise them down overnight on the bone, because the bone gives so much flavor, and then make this ragu and you will not regret it. Okay, so that's nice and broken up now. Gorgeous. There we go. I'm going to wait until my sauce has matured a little bit, add this in, and then I'm gonna simmer them both together for about 40 minutes. And then it's time to cook the pasta, finish our dinner. How easy is that? So my ragu is cooked. I'm really happy with it. I've given this 45 minutes and I'm just gonna check it for seasoning. Here we go. Mm. I love wild boar. It's like pork, but it's more porky. It's so good. And shoulder, as always, performs so well. I'm just gonna put a bit of black pepper in here. I've ground it up in my pestle and mortar. I love this. Nice and coarse, loads of flavor. And just a sprinkling of sea salt. Lovely. Okay, let's go over. 
So I've cooked my pasta. Now pasta is really important. I've used some really high quality pasta here. You can see beautiful spaghetti and I've added a little bit of olive oil to stop it sticking. And um, what I'm going to do is add some beautiful big spoonfuls of wild boar ragu. The Italian, Italians call wild boar cingale. It's called cingale. So this is ragu of cingale. And I'm just gonna put a lovely generous amount in for tonight. And I'm gonna mix it with the pasta. So it coats all the strands of pasta. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil to it just to help loosen it down. And a little bit of beautiful olive oil. And the olive oil isn't just for lubrication, it's for flavor as well. And you can see immediately you get that shine on the pasta. Okay. So there's my ragu, I'm gonna get a bit of saucy stuff on there. Let's tip the ragu into, into the bowl. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh. Yeah. It's like family, family pasta time. And then I'm going in with some beautiful Parmesan. Lovely aged Parmesan, this 24 month old Parmesan. And then I've got some this sounds a bit weird, and normally I'd use parsley, but I'm using some very finely chopped coriander, cilantro. And it's a lovely flavor, delicate flavor. It'll go well with the tomato. I'm gonna to sprinkle that all over the top there. The last little sprinkle of olive oil, and this beautiful Italian Umbrian extra virgin olive oil. And there you have it. <clears throat> a stunning ragu of wild boar, the easiest food to cook, a shoulder often disused, just cooked overnight in a sous vide bag with a little bit of olive oil and rosemary, couple of cans of tomatoes, loads of garlic, loads of oil, some parmesan, some very importantly, beautiful red wine. This is Rosso de Montalcino, which is the second wine of Brunello. And um, oh, this is about 10 pounds a bottle from my mate James, my wine supplier. and. It's what I put in the ragu, it's what I'm gonna drink with the ragu, and we've got to taste some ragu before we have it for dinner. So let's go in. And it's just, the idea of a ragu is that it coats the pasta with the sauce, and it should be just wildly delicious. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's magic, wild boar. What a fabulous ingredient. Please try that recipe. It's a load of fun to cook. It's a piece of cake to cook. It's really easy. That's tonight's recipe. Please join us next time. We're going to cook something else tomorrow. Again, don't know what yet. It'll be fun.